Hey, it's Jennifer Kramer Windsor here with another Facebook Live. Today we're talking about abundance and gratitude with money. <laughs> so I'm coming at you from my office. Can you see the neighbor's cars? And then that's the other neighbor's house. Uh, yesterday we were having such an amazing time that um, we blew up the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am. I'm as close to the router as I could possibly be uh, to talk to you about gratitude. So one of the things that I would love to talk to you about today is what the hell gratitude is. <laughs> Hi, Diana. So good to see you. Um, most of us have been raised with parents or you know, significant people in our lives telling us that we should be grateful or calling us ungrateful. And so if that's the awareness that you have about gratitude, then congratulations. <laughs> You're not alone. And there really is something else out there with gratitude that can possibly be there for you. And the other thing that I've noticed with my clients, and I did notice it with myself as well, that people in my world, including me, often did things that we thought that the other person would be grateful for us doing. So we did them actually out of obligation, uh, and we thought that that person would think that or feel grateful for us. And so if that's something that you've done uh, in your life, uh, done something out of obligation, and then the person was grateful or not grateful, and you had a strange response to that. And so just have a look at that. That could be something that's coming up for you with gratitude. Um, there's also a difference between um, gratitude, like actually embodying gratitude and doing gratitude <laughs> there's two different things and so if you're doing gratitude it's more something that you feel like you should be doing and so you're like oh I should be grateful for this I should be grateful for this and so when you're shitting yourself that's probably not a great place to be either and so just have a look at that. So um, we talked about on the previous video, interesting point of view. So maybe interesting point of view that you feel like you should be grateful for um, what's going on in your life or, you know, some sort of circumstances that you don't actually feel grateful for. And then there's the flip side of things. There's things that you've done for people um, that they weren't all that grateful for. And you thought, well, you're a jerk. You're not that grateful. And so you were aware that they weren't grateful. And so none of us have actually been taught how to do gratitude. <laughs> well, actually, we've been taught how to do gratitude, but we haven't taught how to embody gratitude. And so one of the things that I do with my clients is I have them look at all the places and spaces in their life, like even go back 10, 20, 30 years, um, and have a look at what it is that they've managed to create in their lives. So you think about the different circumstances, like um, uh, 10 years ago, I was you know, embroiled in a terrible divorce. It was really shitty for my kids. It was really shitty for me. And um, you know, I recognize now it was really shitty for my ex-husband as well. We were all trying to do um, what we thought we should do and it just didn't work. And so one of the things that I'm truly grateful for is that I have a curious mind and I'm willing to go and find out what it is that I need to know about the world. And so I'm grateful for myself. <laughs> so maybe that could be a place that you could start uh, to have gratitude and to embody gratitude in your life. And what happens with money when you're embodying gratitude um, is so different. It's like it wants to come to the party. So you just imagine the attitude of being ungrateful or maybe even entitled. Um, you know, and some of us have done this in our lives. We've definitely been around people who were ungrateful and entitled. And does that make you feel generous? No. <laughs> it doesn't make you feel generous. It makes you want, kind of want to slap them around a little bit. And so 
think about those times in your life where you have been feeling sort of ungrateful and maybe a little bit entitled and did that affect your money flows? I'm willing to bet it did. And so one of the skills that is super important, well, I mean, not to make it super significant, but if you really wanted to be great at embodying gratitude and really great at bringing money into your awareness and into your world and abundance and prosperity and everything that is just in that whole circle. And one of the things that I would super love um, and I love it when I see it in my clients' world is when they prove to themselves that they're actually able to create that for themselves. So, um, you know, one of my clients, like I said before, um, she really needed to get a car for her daughter and uh, she didn't know where the money was going to come from. She didn't actually have the cash to be able to do it. And so what she did was she started to ask some questions and she dropped her barriers to who she might be able to receive from and then what happened was something uh, amazing. We were working with her, um, or I was, uh, part of um, what I do with my VIP clients is, uh, I call it 60 second magic, but it's basically people write down, um, you know, three things that happened during the day that they were surprised about. And then three ways that like money, prosperity, abundance, like somebody gave them something, something that they didn't expect to happen, happened for them. And then three things that they would really love to create in their world uh, for tomorrow. And so what that does is it focuses on what's happened in your day. And so you actually just have a look at that instead of, you know, sort of glossing it over and allowing one shitty interaction with somebody uh, to poison your whole day, you can actually have a look at it and say, wow, I really actually had a pretty darn good day other than, you know, I had a pretty crappy interaction with somebody that I knew was pretty crappy. So when you are grateful for your entire universe, what happens is money wants to come to the party and it's just easy. And I notice this with myself even when I'm focused on, oh, I got to get this done and I have to get that done and I should get this done. And I've got all of these tasks and I'm like a little mouse in a maze and I'm like, I know I have to go here and I have to go there. And I'm not actually sitting back and being grateful and gr like embodying gratitude for the life that I've managed to create for myself. Then money's kind of like, eh. You know, clients come in, clients go out. And so just having a look at that for you, um, what can you do in that regard? So one of the things that I'm going to do is um, I have a free abundance prosperity meditation that I'm going to include with this. And then also in the same file, I'm going to download that um, 60 second magic for you so that you can get started working on that. Um, I have a wealth blueprint class that's starting in uh, just under a, or just over a week. And so for those people who opt into wealth blueprint um, before this Friday, um, I have a uh, incarcerations uh, busting free from your incarcerations uh, with money actualization event. And so we're going to have a live call. Um, where we talk about all the places where we're locked up and we can't have money access us. Um, so just thinking about like that, you know, I mean, how many places have you locked yourself with, with money? So one of them is, you know, gratitude. So if you're not grateful for the money that comes in or you feel like the money that's coming in is um, sort of too hard or... Um, like there should be an easier, nicer way for money to come into your world, then, you know, we can work on those points of view and we can begin to delete them with the tools of access consciousness. So one of the things with access is we kind of, we'll have a look at where some of them come from just from a curiosity standpoint, but we're not into like blame and shame. So, you know, if your family didn't have a really great point of view about money, then where would you get it from? 
you know, I mean, we've all heard of the, you know, Robert Kurosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, where he talks about these places where um, rich parents actually give the children the ability to be able to be wealthy. And I've noticed that with my clients, you know, some of them are just actually really awesome at keeping money in their lives in the most amazing ways. I mean, I have an amazing lady client that I worked with. Um, she was making a killing walking dogs and the dogs loved her. The dog's owners loved her. She's just, you know, she brought in money hand over fist walking dogs. And so when we have those points of view about money that it can't get us, it's called an incarceration. And so just having a look at that um, and, you know, a 90 minute actualization session where we talk about your individual incarcerations with money. So people will get to ask questions and I'm super excited about that. So you're thinking about uh, joining Wealth Blueprint, I would do that before Friday so that you can get in on this 90 minute actualization session. And don't forget, I'm going to be adding your 60 second magic onto uh, the free part of Wealth Blueprint. So if you can, I'm going to include the link. And if you want to go through and download that uh, Wealth and Prosperity Actualization Guided Meditation, um, it's going to delete those places in your body where you're not receiving. And so none of us have been taught how to receive properly. Most of us have been taught that receiving is um, reciprocal. So if I do something for you and you do something for me, then I do something for you and then you do something for me. I see you, Linda Mackey. Linda takes amazing pictures. And so if you're looking for headshots, um, or you're looking for some amazing pictures in your life, you need to get a hold of Linda Mackey. Check her on this system. She's right there. And hi, Linda, I see you. And so I'm going to go back and talk about how um, most of us have been taught that receiving is reciprocal. So we have to give something to get something. And a lot of us have been taught that money is reciprocal. So we have to work really, really hard for money. <laughs> and what if that wasn't true? You know, I know for myself with my business, I do get busy. Um, I, my clients uh, are in my awareness. And so sometimes I feel stressed. Well, actually, a lot of the time I feel stressed when they feel stressed because I'm an empath and, um, you know, just psychic and stuff. And but that's not hard on me. You know what really is hard on me is working for people who um, who don't enjoy sort of the madness and the wackiness that I be. And so when you think about in that in your own world, that could be some of the reason why money's not coming in is because you're not in um, energetic alignment with the people that you're working for or with the people that you're working with. And so that'll be something that we'll be talking about in Wealth Blueprint. So I do hope you'll be joining us on that. And, you know, what do I have to say in closing? Uh, does anybody have any questions about gratitude and money? And one of the teasers that I put on the, um, the ads for this was what came first. And so what comes first with gratitude and money is actually gratitude. And it's feeling it in your body, lowering your barriers to what you're receiving from people and being the embodiment of gratitude. And so just have a look at my body and ask your body to do what my body's doing and just relax into that. <sighs> what would it be like if you were willing to receive all of the gratitude from the people that would love to do business with you? that would love to spend time with you, who are truly grateful for your presence on this planet. Oh, I feel so gushy. <laughs> so what is that like? You know, just like checking in. What is that like for you to feel the gratitude for the people who are grateful for you? So that's step two. So just check in and take a second and actually feel how grateful those people are for you. And then allow abundance to come into that equation. What would it be like if those people who were truly grateful for your gift 
your unique and special gifts to just come and be with you. And what if it wasn't an exchange? What if it was a complete pleasure for them to pay you money for your special gifts, whatever those are, and you get to work with them? And what if that was a complete pleasure? And I would say in every single case, the people that I work with now, I am so proud of. I am their like biggest freaking cheerleader when they choose something different for themselves that they've never chosen before. I'm just like, go! so amazing. Oops. <laughs> My phone really wants us to get off the internet. So just having a look at that. And, you know, in closing, thank you so much. Uh, looking forward to talking to you tomorrow at five o'clock. And we're going to be talking about the big doozy, trust with money. <laughs> oh, I see a question from Helen. What if we do not or what if we're not aware of our special gifts or what if I'm not aware of my special gifts mmm Helen what are your special gifts so truth are you not aware of them or are they something that you've been told is not valuable I'm just gonna wait for an answer on that Helen <laughs> if you hear me what I asked you was were you told that those special gifts, those things that you super love to do, are not valuable? And so I have another story for you. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I was so hyper and so full of beans, and I so loved to be the spotlight, um, and I was so loud. Oh my God, my mother was like, would you shut up? Because my mother didn't like to be the spotlight herself, because she was told to shut up as a child too. So... One of the things that Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, encourages us to have a look at is what is that thing about you that um, that's almost detestable? <laughs> so the thing about me is I'm flashy, I'm loud, and I love to be the center of attention. And so one of those things that I bring out in my own clients is the ability to be flashy and to be the center of attention. And so some of my clients that come to me are like all locked up. They've got shoulder pain. They've got neck pain. They've got TMJ, like everything from here to here. All of that throat chakra stuff is like. <laughs> and by the time we're done working together, they're like wearing flashy clothes and do whatever it is that, you know, they originally didn't like about themselves and would never, ever choose for themselves. But this may be an opportunity, Helen, for us to connect on Facebook and uh, see if there's some other possibilities for you so that you can discover your gifts because that's actually another one of the things I'm uh, in spades is I am able to see the treasure that people are and mirror it back to them in a way that they're able to believe and receive. And so how fun would that be uh, to know what the treasure is that you are and actually be able to receive it. <laughs> See, there's always a reason why we are together. So Helen says, I do like to be the center of attention and she's loud too. <laughs> so maybe that's your treasure. Maybe people uh, who could learn from you um, need you to be the center of attention and they need you to get on the internet and stick your neck out and talk and be loud and proud about what it is that you know and what it is that are your special gifts. So, so glad to connect with you. I need to pop off. I'm heading over to the Connect Now summer party and um, that's my networking group that I belong to. And yeah, so have a look at that. Um, next time we're going to be talking about... Um, trust with money and so many of us have been able to um, make money but we actually don't trust ourselves to keep it and we don't trust ourselves to make big money because we think that we're not going to be able to keep it so I'm going to be on 
tomorrow. I'm going to be letting you know when, because I have to actually have a look at my calendar and see when I can be on. But I think it's going to be somewhere in between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. And I will let you know. So um, if you click below, you can follow and be notified of when I'm going to be going online. And then I'm also going to be doing some posts about when I'm going to be online. So you're going to be well notified. And also, if you pop on over to Wealth Blueprint, I'm going to put the link uh, in this. <laughs> so you'll be able to do that. And um, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. And mwah! anything that doesn't allow you to be the gratitude that you truly be and receive the gratitude that others have for you, we're just going to destroy and uncreate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.